Hey YouTube, welcome to a Monotone Home Mechanic. Today I wanted to talk about uh, how you can find some pretty good deals on car parts on Amazon.com uh, by shopping through uh, the warehouse deals. Now the hard part for most people is when you get to each of these sections on Amazon is they have 10,000 million different parts and how do you find parts through all of this stuff you know that you're looking for and well you can click over here and so what you saw there is from the home page from the drop down let's go back from the home page the drop down you're going to choose automotive and industrial and automotive parts and accessories you can also do tools all kind of the same way except uh, what I'm going to show you today is how to filter just for your vehicle what Amazon warehouse is selling so you can see if you can find some pretty good deals and so you can see here you can filter by vehicle all of these vehicles are vehicles we currently own uh, or have owned you've probably seen some videos on some of them um, but so you can filter let's say I wanted to look for parts for my Caprice for the turd bucket you can filter down and then here you have all products and maintenance and repair and you've got over 3,000 results. There's probably tens of thousands of results um, just searching by this vehicle. But that doesn't tell you what is the warehouse selling for your vehicle. And so without doing that, all you have is everything you know here. So let's try going back to automotive the screen again. Let's click warehouse deals. And if you click the warehouse, that's Amazon warehouse. That's from Amazon. Products that have either been returned to them, products they found with damaged packaging, whatever that they'll discount. But now, I can't search by vehicle. Where'd my vehicle filter go? So now all I have is a hodgepodge of random parts. And again, there'll be over 3,000 of these uh, that don't, actually 40,000 uh, results that don't apply necessarily specifically to any vehicle I own. So how do you search Amazon Warehouse for your vehicle to try to find some good deals on parts? And so we're gonna have to start all over again. So going back to the home page, Amazon.com, we're going to search automotive and industrial, automotive parts and accessories. Now we're going to filter down to the car first. So you have to go through your garage, which is right here, add the vehicles that you want to add, click go. And now we're filtered down to the different sections for a 96 Chevrolet Caprice, or in our case, the turd bucket. And we have the different stuff. And I don't want performance and tuning quite yet, although I do search in here too uh, for other stuff like nitrous kits, fuel injection, those kind of things. And so now I have automotive parts just for my vehicle, okay? But still not filtered yet by the warehouse. This is just from Amazon. So now we want to get down to Amazon warehouse. And so on the left side, you'll see sellers down here. And as long as you're in a specific category, you can click see more. And you'll get, the entire, you'll get the highlighted list. These are the most common sellers. Sometimes Amazon Warehouse will pop up right here, and here it is, okay? Amazon Warehouse. Just make sure a lot of people use the same name or similar name to Amazon Warehouse. Make sure it says Amazon Warehouse specifically. If you go down here, you'll see that a couple other people use Amazon different stuff. Amazing Parts Warehouse sounds an awful lot like Amazon Warehouse, not the same thing. Amazon Warehouse is what you want. So click on Amazon Warehouse, but now, Look at this. So now we're not filtered by vehicle, but check this out. Now my vehicle filter comes back. And now I can change the vehicle to one of the other vehicles in my garage, or I can filter by just uh, my vehicle. So right now this list is not filtered for my Caprice, okay? 20,000 results. Now I wanna narrow it down to just the Caprice. So here are the Amazon warehouse deals specific to my vehicle, okay? now. Be careful, Amazon does not have a good part interchange or list what works for your parts. So you as the buyer have to know what parts will work for your vehicle and what parts won't. Don't just take Amazon's word for it, okay? So going through this list, we've got some brake pads. The first couple pages, you'll see a lot of very generic parts like starting boxes. You'll see this will show up on probably my other vehicles too. You'll see, you know, wiper blades that'll match different things, another charging box or a battery maintainer box. Wiper blade, lots of wiper blades. These generic lights, why you'd want to put these on your know, Chevy Caprice, who knows. 
but obviously you could. If you wanted to drill a hole somewhere and wire them up, you could, put, you could theoretically put them on there, okay? Gas caps, whatever these things are, light bars if you wanted to put them on there, but nothing real specific until you get to this, an air conditioning orifice tube. If you happen to need one, it's $1.08. And you might wonder, well, is that $1.08? Is, is that a good price for this? Well, I don't know. Let's click on it. And you can see now it says 327, so obviously there's a disconnect between what it said on the previous page and this page. So it's $3.27, used very good. And if you want to see what the different categories mean, used very good says it'll arrive in original packaging, packaging will be damaged. So they're saying the part is new, <clears throat> just that the packaging has been damaged. If you scroll down, you can see down here on some of these items, as long as Amazon sells it new, it'll show right here, this item, um, AC Delco, blah, 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 $5.18. So if you wanted to buy it new, if you scroll down on the part, it'll show you sometimes what the new price is. And so the new price is $5.18. Used good price is $3.27. So you're saying a buck seventy-five on buying this part, which may not sound like a lot, but that's about 30%, or maybe a little bit more, I have to do the math, about 30% of the new price by buying used. Okay, so going back to the list, let's see if we can find anything else. It looks good if you want an automatic transmission, one, two, or three, four shift solenoid. There's one, there's some either pulleys. Uh, washer fluid, this is probably pretty generic. Uh, professional transmission fluid filter kit. Mine's got a deep pan, so that wouldn't work for me. I have to use the uh, truck filter kit. Some generic lights, a generic transmission cooler, another idler pulley, and so engine coolant temp sensor. So you can see there's different parts on here that you could buy this is an AC Delco original equipment ignition coil. I'm pretty sure this is the correct coil. Mine's already got a new one, so I don't need this. $19.86. Let's see how much this is discounted from new. So the new one is $21.35. You're, you're saving about two bucks buying used very good. Now, one thing you can do, you can see that I've already bought this item. Um, wow, it's been three years now. So uh, on the turd bucket, yeah, we've owned it that longer, longer. Uh, three years ago, I bought the same item. And let's see what I paid for it back then. And so I paid $24.50. Uh, it looks like I bought it from a third-party merchant uh, back then. So, um, What you can do is you can add this stuff to your cart and then Amazon will continue to decrease this price until it gets sold. So if you add it to your cart and then you check your cart out, you can just put save for later. And you can save this for later, and you can kind of just keep track of these parts. Every time you log in, you can see what parts you've picked out. And you can see, I picked out some battery cables I might at some point buy. I had this one used. Um, it was actually only like 20 bucks, but unfortunately I didn't buy it before somebody else did. Uh, rear airbag kit, looks like they've changed this to uh, another used one, but it's 80 bucks. Another control arm, front, uh, sway bar bushing set. Someday maybe I'll buy a jet, learn how to tune, but not yet. And so I keep some parts in there. But going back to our list, so you can get some gears, front timing chain, or I'm sorry, rear main seal, uh, all kinds of different things that you can buy for this particular vehicle that may or may not be a good deal. I won't say they're a good deal or not. Some things you'll come across, sometimes you'll come across great deals, sometimes you won't. Um, but this is all for an ASICS Caprice. And so checking out some other things, we can change the vehicle filter. Now there's rarely much in here for our 2002 uh, Porsche 911, but let's check out and see what they got for sale. And you can see the same two jump boxes, probably the same wiper blade, another wiper blade, wiper blade, wiper blade. Lots of generic stuff. Ooh, if you want to drill these lights in, you certainly can. This looks like a factory um, oil filter. I don't have the, I have a screw-on filter adapter, so I don't have, I don't use that. Uh, no more wiper blades, these generic lights. I don't know, I don't even have armrests. I don't know why you would use these in a 911, but sure, I guess if you had one, you could use it. And there's only three pages here for the 911. Uh, some spark plugs, pack of four. These may or may not be the right ones, I don't remember. There are several different spark plugs you can use. Uh, generic uh, pigtail, if you needed one for your wiring harness and that one happened to work. Some headlight stuff, this is a fluid windshield wiper. Looks like a um, fuel injector, a pigtail, cabin filter, some LED lights, a horn. So not much stuff for the 911. Another fuel injector pigtail, starter if you needed one. This is actually a pretty good deal on starter. I saw this the other day. 
Uh, so this is a Bosch. This is actually the part if you, sometimes the reviews will help you determine if this works for you or not. And this says that this guy used it on a 911. OEM was around, or I'm sorry, the uh, 200 bucks for a new uh, Bosch, 400 for the OEM. Uh, so yeah, so this should work on a Porsche 911 on our car, but of course we don't need a starter, at least not today. Knock on wood, hopefully we don't need a starter today. And then if you go up, let's see if they have the new price. So they have the new price at 196.78, you can see right here. Okay, so the same starter, 196.78, so you're getting it just about half price, uh, used very good, which again, says the item will be new, the packaging will be damaged, okay? And so a pretty good deal on the starter, you know, if you need a starter from, uh, from Amazon Warehouse and it fit your vehicle. Uh, not much else I see though that, that we need today. This is looks like an oxygen sensor. I've actually used these Delphi oxygen sensors on the Porsche. They don't work very well. I had one that worked, one that did not. So I would not recommend them. Uh, and so if you needed a part. Now, the other day I got a pretty good deal, which we're going to make a different video on. But uh, going to my orders, I'll show you what we scored the other day. And so I got this part here. Uh, just the other day, September 12, 2019. I know this part is the correct part number for my vehicle. You'll see the new price, 154.78, and that's pretty expensive. That's about normal for the Bosch. This is the OEM manufacturer, but does not have the Porsche, you know, label or the Porsche tax on it. And you can see the part number there, some date codes there on the side of the of the MAF. Um, math is a funny thing. We're gonna make a separate video about swapping that out. And of course, we know this works on my year. Um, here's a guy who used on the exact same one, 2002 C4S. No, this is not me. This is from 2018. Uh, and so he used it on the same car. That's what we're gonna use it on. You can see 154.78. But I bought this just the other day. And so let's see what I paid for it. I paid $73.98. So a little bit under uh, half price. Uh, for this item. I, I caught it at $68.34 uh, plus tax. Um, and it just got to me here yesterday. And we're going to take a look at it. Now when you buy these parts, one thing you have to look at closely is what does the part look like when you get it. I'm not saying some people are nefarious, but some people do do nefarious returns to Amazon. You guys have all probably seen it. And so you got to look closely at these to make sure it's the correct part the correct manufacturer, correct part number, and it's not a used part that's been stuffed back in the package. So let me go grab this MAF sensor and let's take a look at what a used like new uh, MAF sensor in original packaging, packaging will be damaged description uh, looks like. All right, so here is the package has arrived from Amazon. This was actually dropped off, I believe it was yesterday. Uh, and inside we find our package. And of course you can see, yeah, sure, the package is damaged. You can see warehouse inspected. I didn't swap this out with a different part. Here's the check it so we can go enter this information at Bosch to verify this is a legit uh, part, which I haven't done yet, but we will. And you can see here's the part number, uh, 2802180055, which matches that uh, part number there. Okay, so all the correct markings on this part. Opening it up, sealed in a bag, we have what looks like a Porsche MAF sensor. Okay, and so on the back side, you can see the parts, it's got some markings on it and the sensor there. On the front side, we have Bosch with the correct part number, 28021805. And then the markings down there at the bottom for the date code. 91717 and then an 816 and so we'll have to check those to see when it was manufactured but it looks pretty new maybe some marks there looks like they rub right off might be some dust somebody may have tried to install this on a vehicle that it wasn't meant for um, looks like it may or may not have had some washers markings there so again this part may or may not be something that was used before. Hopefully it wasn't a return that somebody was getting codes on. I don't see any obvious fading of the plastics, but we'll make a separate video about installing this. So it looks like a pretty decent score uh, so far, uh, but you never know. And so 
back to the website Let's take a look at some of my other orders I've gotten before so I ordered a or I scored a full nitrous kit for the turd bucket at one point uh, you may see it in some of the videos uh, in my garage and so let's see what I paid for that I think it's been a year or two since I bought it and so it's a nitrous <coughs> excuse me August 6th so it's been about a year uh, nitrous Express Proton Series Nitrous System 10 pound bottle. So this is a complete kit. Purchased it last year. It's $410 uh, new. Uh, still sold by Amazon.com over here. Uh, so $410 is what it is new. Let's see what I paid for it. So one year ago I paid $340. So not a significant discount. Actually, yeah, I'm sorry. $260.73. I had two different items. Uh, in this purchase. So I paid $260.73 for a $400 nitrous kit. Now I could pull this out of the garage and I can show you, but my kit was actually brand new. Uh, the packaging was damaged, but if you know nitrous kits, they come sealed in like a big plastic vacuum sealed package. And mine was all sealed up, had all the components had never been removed, nothing had ever been taken out of the kit, bottle was brand new, all brackets, all parts were included. Uh, for this and so someday we'll get this installed on the turd bucket. Maybe we'll make a video about it uh, To do that so you can see 150 bucks off this new price uh, From Amazon. I thought I remember this list price being a bit higher and so you can score some pretty uh, phenomenal deals uh, through the Amazon warehouse um, And you can search specific for your vehicle through the Amazon warehouse to make finding those good deals uh, that much easier and just quickly, let's run through before we close this out, show you how to do it one more time. So from the homepage, Automotive Industrial, go to the appropriate section uh, there. Um, you're going to filter down to your vehicle first. Don't be tempted by this link. It, it doesn't work the same way. So go to the, your vehicle first. Choose the appropriate category here. And then change the seller on the left side down at the bottom. Once you're in a category, you can change the seller to Amazon Warehouse. Okay, don't choose something else. Choose Amazon Warehouse. And then now you've narrowed it down. This is the entire warehouse, but you can filter results. Let's just see, just for grins, if there's any nitrous kits in the Amazon Warehouse. This is Automotive Replacement Parts Nitrous. And we're going to change the seller to Amazon Warehouse again. Remember, you've got to do that. If you change your search, you've got to change it back. See here, now Amazon Warehouse doesn't show up. And so let's change it to the A. And then you should get the Amazon Warehouse. They've got 12 listings with nitrous in the title under automotive. So you can get a uh, Zex Nitrous Purge Kit, 77.58, 77.58. New price is 108.22, so that's a pretty good discount. And you have 30 bucks off by ordering this item here. Uh, Zex 82010. Uh, other items, you can get a, a wide open throttle switch or an RPM switch for $152.99. Um, I don't see the new price on that. So the other thing I do is when Amazon doesn't sell it new anymore, you just got to Google search it. You'll see what other people sell it for, JEGS or whatever. And so it looks like 186 maybe 150 on eBay. 186 looks about the going rate between Summit and JEGS. And so you're 30 bucks off, so not too good, but you can add that to your cart. You can watch that for a while. Uh, here's a Coyote Mustang. So here's if you have a brand new or a newer Mustang, and you want to add a 150 shot to it, because that Coyote Mustang, that Coyote will take that, that shot. 662.52. New price for this item, I don't see. So we'll plug this into you googly. We'll see what you googly gives us. Um... That's the same kit? I don't think that is. Yeah, it's got this crazy carbon bottle. It's got a composite bottle on a 12 pound composite bottle we gotta find. The right part number. That's from car ID. Just the bottle is 70577. Which seems crazy. Maybe this is a really stupid deal. I mean, shoot, you could sell that bottle for 600 bucks, keep the rest of the pieces, replace it with a cheaper bottle. It's odd, I don't see the same. Let's click on this. 
Yeah, so this is a direct fit nitrous kit, same thing, non-composite bottle for 1500 bucks. And so it's very possible that this is a really smoking deal. Maybe I should be buying this right now, tossing it up on the bay or something to get rid of it. I wish it would show me what the new price was, but I just don't see it. It's always possible somebody took this composite bottle and swapped it out too. To where you don't have the same bottle. Yeah, here you go. Same kit, 1500 bucks. And so this is less than half price for that same kit. And we've already said that this just this bottle sells for 700 separately. So you could sell that bottle if you already have a nitrous kit at home. You could sell that bottle, use your same bottle, and get a pretty decent uh, kit for next to nothing or close to nothing after fees. Or sell them both separately. We're going to add that to the cart. We're going to keep an eye on that. It's used very good, so the packaging should be damaged. It doesn't say like new, though. Uh, so you never know. Uh, but we'll save that for later. Maybe we'll maybe we'll buy that and make a video of of reselling this item. And so now you see here 13, 11, 79 is what they sell this for new. For some reason it didn't list that, but that's what they sell it for new is $1,300. Uh, so pretty good deal on that item there. And they only have one uh, used very good. Now this price will continue to drop until somebody buys it. Um, and so that's a, a good steal there for, so if you got a Coyote and you want that composite uh, bottle there. And pick some up. Let's see what else they got. Uh, you can get a gauge, your carb plate if you're still running a carb, intercooler pipe. I don't know why that's on there. High uh, pressure electric pump if you need it. You got a cam with an air, bypass port, temp gauge. Uh, I guess you could use this as a switch panel. Maybe that's why it's on there. So, like I said, sometimes there doesn't really match up. Um, let's see, you can do a Holly fuel injection. They do have some pretty high dollar fuel injection stuff on here that you'll see. Remember, switch it back to Amazon Warehouse. It says they only have one. Yeah, whatever that is, you really don't need that for a fuel bowl kit for one of their carbs. Um, so you mm, so any number of things. You can find them there, but you can find some pretty good deals. Like today, just now, we found over half off on this Nitrous Express for a modern uh, Ford Coyote engine, which looks like a pretty, a pretty smoking deal. So if you've got a 2011 Ford GT Mustang Coyote engine, you can use it for that. Uh, I don't see any reviews. Probably nobody's ponying up for this big composite bottle. Um, let's see, Nitrous Express. Let's go to eBay and see if we find any of these composite bottles on there. You can see that they're listed for 685, 852. Let's see if any of them have sold. Doesn't look like a single bottle uh, from that kit is sold of uh, that composite kit, probably because nobody wants to pay for it. It's probably only saving you a couple of pounds at best. Not really worth ponying up for. But let's see if the entire kit has sold on eBay to see if somebody's paid that money for it. Yep, somebody's paid 1300 bucks for it. Somebody just sold this uh, six days ago. Composite bottle, maybe a few other things. Has an electric bottle opener included. They paid $7.89. They accepted the best offer, so a little bit less than that. Somebody paid $12.95 for the entire kit uh, with, the, with the composite bottle, so they paid over twice what it's selling for used or, or new or very good used on, uh, on Amazon. Uh, the seller here is ASAP Performance, so a shop that's probably a legit uh, reseller. Um, so there you go today, just making a short video, found a pretty good deal, uh, 662, you can probably toss it on eBay, make some good money. By the time this gets posted, though, it'll probably be bought, uh, maybe by me, you never know. Um, but that's how you find pretty good prices on Amazon Warehouse products. You can filter by your vehicle or you can search for something specific, find some pretty decent deals, stuff you can pick up both for your car or for performance stuff. Uh, enjoy. If you have any questions, post it below. Make sure you like and subscribe down there at the bottom and check out some of my other videos. Thanks.